Hello and welcome to this short introduction to Batch for Books. In this video, we're going to cover what Batch is, how Batch works, making payments through Batch, and other uses for Batch. But before we get started, I want you to think about a single solitary invoice. You may have received it via email or it was mailed to you and is now sitting on your desk. You have that invoice in mind? Now think about all that needs to happen to that invoice from the moment you receive it until the moment it has been paid and filed away. Think of all the different tasks related to that single invoice and all the time and coordination and organization and effort it takes to manage that single invoice. If you're like a lot of booksellers I know, your workflow for managing that invoice probably looks something like this. An intricate, ingenious, complex process full of contingencies. Out of sheer necessity and working with the resources you have on hand, you've had to develop something that works for you and, and the results are processes and workflows that would, frankly, make Rube Goldberg a bit jealous. Now back, back to that single solitary invoice. Got it in your head again? Think again of everything that goes into managing, organizing, and paying that one invoice, and now multiply it by the thousands and thousands of invoices you receive each year, and this desk might feel a bit too familiar to you. Dealing with invoices is a necessary and inevitable part of running a business, but it should be simpler, right? This is where Batch for Books enters the picture. We've developed and provided a simple and paperless solution to help independent bookstores more easily manage, organize, and pay the never-ending mountain of invoices that cross your desk or your inbox. Simply put, we want to take that mountain of invoices and turn it into a molehill. So how does all this work? When you sign up for Batch, your vendors begin to transmit all your invoice data to your Batch web portal. Invoices are transmitted as soon as they're created, so they're appearing on Batch before you even receive the shipment. In this way, all your invoices are in one convenient location, the filing and organization has already been done for you, and you can do away with those email or paper invoices if you want. Plus, the way it appears on Batch is consistent across all vendors. No more going back and forth trying to get everything in one place and in one format. After the publishers transmit their invoices to, to Batch, Batch users go to their web portal where they can see a summary of all their outstanding invoices. It's organized in summary tables so you can see exactly what's due now while also being able to see what will be due in the future. From these summaries, you can then see all the credits and individual credit invoices and all the general information associated with each invoice, your transaction numbers, due dates and amounts and what have you. From there, you're able to access the line item detail by clicking on an invoice number. And on the line item detail, it's the normal information that would come on any packing slip, your PO numbers, your discounts, your ISBNs, titles, when you're on batch, the small hassle of missing a, a missing packing slip becomes an even smaller hassle as you can hop on and print it out directly from your browser. Batch is a very simple tool, a simplicity that makes it easy to learn and use. Publishers transmit information and you go through your batch portal to access that information. You never have to worry about lost invoices, rifling through a file cabinet, searching your email, or any such thing. It's all right here in a convenient, consistent format. Aside from, being, from simply being a repository of information, Batch is also an essential tool for preparing payments. We've heard from booksellers who spend less than half the time they used to to prepare a payment to a publisher. Preparing a payment is done in three very easy steps. The first thing you do is authorize the invoices or credits you want to pay or apply. You do this by going to your list of transactions, 
running down the list and simply selecting a radio button for the ones you want to pay. Once you've authorized all the transactions you'd like to pay, you just go find your uh, payment amount. If you'd like, you can send batch a single payment for all your vendors. You don't have to separate it or write and send checks to multiple places. It can all be done with one payment. The final step is also an easy one. You send batch the funds. After that, batch does the rest. We pack up the invoices you authorized in little digital packets and send those packets along with your payment off to the publishers. The publishers receive it and your payment gets posted immediately and your invoice is cleared. That's batch in a nutshell. We take a whole bunch of the tasks you have to complete for each invoice and we streamline it, make it easier to do and free up a lot of your time in the process. In addition to the basic back fun batch functions, there are a few other things that batch users are able to do. The first item is that you're able to make claims for damages and shortages. On batch, it takes no more than a minute for you to submit a claim to the publishers. A record of that claim is created on batch so you can track it. And then you can know when credits have been processed for those claims when they get transmitted back to batch. The second task that batch can undertake is transmitting your invoice information to QuickBooks. Now, this is a big one. Most booksellers do use QuickBooks, and what that, this means for those QuickBooks users is no more time-eating, mind-numbing data entry, and the information imported into QuickBooks always matches your vendors because that's where Batch is getting the information in the first place. There are a lot of benefits to getting onto Batch. All your invoices are in one place in a consistent easy to navigate, easy to search platform. There's no more waiting for the invoices to arrive and you know that, that what's on batch matches what the publishers have in their systems. Payments are easy to make via batch and you can say so long to the stacks and stacks of invoices on your desk and the hours spent entering that information into QuickBooks. Plus, batch is free for indie bookstores to use. Your time may be the most valuable resource you have, and um, by using Batch, you're able to get some of that time back. If you'd like to learn more about Batch for Books, please email us at support at batchforbooks.com or visit us online at batchforbooks.com. Thanks so much for listening and happy bookselling.